we're gonna try something new here. I'm gonna give it, you know, six months to a year, and we'll see how it goes. I'm gonna start doing some vlog type videos. Uh, we've had a lot of people ask for it, and uh, we'll just see how it goes. So, what I'm gonna need from you to continue this is we're gonna need you to hit the like button, subscribe. It's gonna take a lot of work to get these uploaded, you know, on the days or shortly after uh, we get these recorded. So Tyson out, Tyson and I are out here. We're gonna shoot a couple rifles today. Let's go ahead and start with this one here. So this is my 6.5 Psalm, and we had a load shooting in the ones. It was quarter minute out to 600 yards. We couldn't get out here to the thousand yard range because of the crops, and we've got probably a I don't know a three week window here where the wheat's cut, the beans are growing. I'm going to try to get it dialed in at a thousand yards, but in the meantime, the barrel's sped up, so we're going to uh, try to slow it down and uh, get back in the node. It's still shooting sub half at 600 yards, but it, the other day when I shot it out here at a thousand, it had about a minute of vertical, so we're going to see if we can tune that out. Uh, typically, what I have found in the past, somewhere between a half a grain and one grain below where it was is what it's going to take. I've already uh, chronographed three tenths low and it was still about 30 foot per second fast. When the barrel sped up, it sped up about 40 to 50 foot per second. So uh, we need to lose that, get back in that 30 20 node. So um, got a target down here at 1,000 yards. We're going to dial up 21.25. I don't really, not really concerned about where it impacts. I just want to see what the group size is. I'm going to put a half click left for Coriolis and spin drift. There is zero wind right now. So let's go and see what this does. So I'm just going to shoot three of each unless something goes wrong. I did load up five just in case I, if I screw the job up and pull the trigger less than perfectly, we'll go ahead and reshoot. But All right, so this was 1.1 grain low, and it looks like we're about 30 foot per second low. Lower than where I think the node is, which would be a total of uh, 60 plus 10, 70 foot per second slow. We'll go ahead and shoot it, see how it does. Okay, that one's 3,009. It's about 10 foot per second low, so not a, not a great extreme spread. This is definitely not it, but it'll be on the lower end of my node. We can tune into it. Yeah, that was 3011. Okay, we'll go ahead and stop the camera, go down there, mark our target, and move on. All right. First joys of vlogging. I just uh, dialed 22.1 instead of 21. Point, sorry, 22.25 instead of 21.25, and we shot over the top of the target. So, uh, luckily, I don't think that's the node. That was the lower end of what I think the node is going to be. I'm going to go ahead and shoot above it and see what we get. That was 3019, so this might actually be in the node. I'm only going to shoot two. We'll go mark the target, and make sure we're hitting. Thirty twenty-four. 
All right, those had good vertical. They're higher than I expected, but we'll re-zero the rifle when we get it tuned back in. I'm gonna go ahead and shoot the middle node. I'm gonna shoot two of them, and then we'll come back and uh, shoot whatever I think we need to shoot and do confirmation. Like I said, we'll re-zero the rifle when we're done, and we'll get to shooting it. Three thousand ten. Three thousand seven. Okay, we'll go mark these. Like I said, come back, shoot what I think we need to get the rest of the data we need. Um, let's go ahead and talk about this rifle. Uh, I've been shooting this for a while. Like I said, we've got over 100 rounds on it. The barrel sped up. It's on a long action ruckus 6.5 SOM. We're shooting ADG brass, H1000, uh, CCI 250s, and 156 burgers. Uh, I've got it in this barrel Bell and Carlson uh, long range hunting stock. We did a review on it. And we're shooting the 4 to 20 ATAC R. We'll be doing a review on it as well. I've actually got a mid-length, I think they call it the XM ruckus coming that we're going to screw this barrel on to and we'll set it in a different stock to lighten it up a little bit, but we're just out here playing right now. So let's get back to it and uh, go down and check that target. All right, so it looks like I was probably wrong. I think the, I think the 59.4, which is six tenths of a grain, lower is going to be the node. We'll go ahead and fire another couple shots down there and see what we get. Yeah, it was a little slower at 3003. Three thousand two. We'll go see what the group looks like. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and end up shooting all these today. I'm gonna shoot fifty nine point one again. I think all of these are gonna be on the low end of the node, so I think I'm actually gonna be between fifty nine point seven and fifty nine point four. Those were in the 2990s. Go ahead and fire this last one. The 2990s. All right, let's walk through this target. It's pretty busy there. I've got a lot of stuff, of stuff going on here. So those, let's start at the very top. You got the 59.4s and the 59.1s. Those were the first shots this morning. It was well before sunrise. The, the sun actually wasn't up yet. It was pretty dark. The camera light was pretty low. Um, regardless, I do think this. I think this uh, vertical you're seeing is a lighting condition. The ES was pretty good on on those, uh, and they should have been impacting at the point of aim but uh, nonetheless the way my brain works and the way realistically yours should be working if you're taking shots at animals long ranges you've got to confirm that so we'll come back and uh, and verify that um, now let's go to the middle of the target you can see we've got a pretty good water line I don't have uh, I'm not going to grab the tape measure but I'm guessing you're talking about total of probably right at five inches which would be a half minute with the 59.1s and the 59.4s on the psalm see if we can get in there a little bit closer get all those in there so uh, I'll come retest 59.4 and because the velocity was 
starting to drop out. Even though the water line was good, the the velocity was starting to drop out. The 59.1s were were down in the 3,000 foot per second, and the 59.4s were 3,000 up to to 30, 20 where we want to be. Uh, I think my new node's going to be right around 59.4 or maybe a little bit higher. 59.7 was a little on the high end. All right, so we just walked through uh, the process that I use. Uh, we're, we're, we started in the middle of it. Unfortunately, I missed a little bit of it, but we were starting to walk through the process I use to tune the node, tune the load back into the node after the barrel speeds up. So uh, I'm going to continue these vlogs as often as I can. It's a lot of it's a lot of work getting all the, the rifle gear out here and getting the camera gear set up and making sure everything's as high quality as we can get it for you. So like I said, please like the video, uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and turn on notifications. Let me know. You can head on over to longrangeonly.com. You can start a thread. You can, you can private message me, whatever. Tag me, and I'll, I'll answer any questions. But let me know what you do and don't like about these. Uh, it's it's like I said, it's going to be a lot of work. If it's something you guys enjoy, we'll keep doing it. If you don't, we'll stop and just go back to doing what we have been doing. Uh, let's finish up what we did today. So I think that my node on this psalm is going to be right around 59.4, maybe a little bit higher. Uh, I will come confirm it because the I think the lighting conditions were interfering with the the vertical but I have to know that that's what the cause was it wasn't me and it wasn't the load uh, and then we'll show you that video as well